was born in Gumbani, Yakam uh, and, and we were moved by the GG era during the apartheid. Or what was it? The group area site. Yeah. So we were moved to Chitomboni in, in Makova. In, uh, it's here in Venda. So because they were like trying to separate the Shangans from vendors. By the time we were like mixed. So at that time, my father had a band, a family band, with his younger brothers, with the uncles. So I joined the band as early as 1974. I should be nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I joined, I was just doing bakings. But later on in 1975, I taught myself how to play uh, a bass guitar. And then we recorded with the family band uh, commercially around 1979 with Gano Records in Jumek. Nido Sora. Yeah, that was the first song I recorded. But that was a, it was recorded commercially. Mm. Uh, there we had songs like Goodbye Father. It was recorded in earlier, like in 1978, mm. with the Radio Tolendo Studios before they opened. Mm. So, but that one was not released. It wasn't even released. At that age, in, in, during that time, I wasn't like I didn't have uh, the, the, an ability to compose a song of my own. So. It was a song done by the Soul Brothers in Isizu, who was the So I just like interpreted Isizu into Chivenda and realized that it works. Okay, yeah, my, my mom is uh, Shangad. So uh, when I wrote the song, I was like, because most of the time when I write a song, uh, I. I, I use my imagination. It, it's not like personal or something that I experienced myself. You know? So I was like, imagine if I'm going back to my mother's roots and I meet a girl from that that place. You know what do I say? You know, <laughs> because yeah, uh, when we write these things, we write it for the people out there. So you should put yourself in somebody's boots. Maybe a young boy falling in love, you know. But I'm not falling in love anymore. <laughs> Our heritage is too rich, you know, uh, as Africans. I mean, I, I come across people from Europe and they admire who we are, you know. And when I check it out, Amongst ourselves, we really don't see these things. We really think we we don't have nothing, yet we have got a lot. Africa is too rich in culture, economically. I would like say Africa developed all these other developed countries, these so-called developed countries. They were developed from Africa, so our heritage is like, I mean, I mean, if you talk about culture, uh, the culture is like from the Bible, you know, we, we really have a lot of restrictions and things and our norms and values are somewhat righteous, you know, so I think it's, it's very important for, for, for the black youth to recognize that, to learn that, to learn that the African culture is rich and is positive. interested to work with me and again 
as long as it would serve a purpose, you know. Um, I'd like to feature with the, with the youth, upcoming musicians, and veterans too, I, I don't care. Like, uh, of late we, I featured, I collaborated, I did a collaboration with Kenny Murabi, a fellow brother, who stays around here. And we did that, for, we did like two tracks. Uh, cry in vain and down but not out. Uh, it's all about uh, a charity project where we help all the proceedings would go for uh, disaster relief and like uh, we also making a deal with gift of the givers so all the proceedings can go to the needy you know and it's a nice project according to me um, to mention but a few uh, I can talk about Nizophil, I can talk about Pacey, People's Man, my son. The girls, my daughters, I can talk about... Um, there is a lot of youths I hear around here, and Pelafonte. They are good, you know. Uh, if they can be given that opportunity, I know they can take our music to a certain level because they are creative and they, they would like to take that initiative of coming up with something new, you know, that's very good. That's all we want to see, you know. As he calls himself People's Man today. Um, that's his stage name. Um, he's got two sisters, Ruzani and Ali. Um, the youngest is Junior. So, all of them are very good. Uh, we featured them. We featured the girls on on the duet I did with Kenny Murabi, the latest to be and it can be downloaded. Only be downloaded. Uh, it's Junior is also doing his own thing, but he's got the you know the youths got their own genre. It's good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> People should expect a lot more because this time I think I'm always in the studio. If I'm not in the family in the studio, you know. I think even this COVID-19 played an important role. Where you start to realize you have to do things on your own, you know. And I would urge everyone to go out there. And, because why? We, we've been educated to... Our education system is meant to serve the slave master. Right, so this time around, that can't work no more. We need land and we need to utilize it right. Uh, if I have to do farming, I must be serious about it. We can't just acquire land and leave it like so. Uh, we have to make use of it. So, and there's a lot of, there's a lot you can do. When, when you plow, you plant corn, you watch it grow. You know, it's it's not like something that maybe you you're going to crave for or have to do a lot about it. Nature knows how to deal with that. If rain falls, corn will grow and you report yourself. Well I think you need to be very passionate about it. And one other thing is hard work. And you should you should you should write things that make sense you know uh, and because why uh, the truth and reality will stand there like a mountain that cannot be removed you know now if you into very useless topics or something that anybody can just say you know like maybe just go like make noise or oh, oh, oh I mean. uh, it's important to do something that makes sense you know it, it's important to to put a lot of pressure on it and work on it because music is like that it's it, if you don't work on it then it, it it's meaningless and it 
it will be very periodical, you know. Um, if you work on it, it will be everlasting for generations after generation, you know. And it's, it's important to do things like that in that manner where you, you make sure what you do is genuine, you know. You do it with, from the heart, you know.